my makeup loving friends, it has been another week and a week is long uh, when it comes to makeup. I tried to do a fairly natural no makeup makeup look so hair is still going everywhere. I'd love to know what you guys think. Does it look okay? Um, let's just jump straight into it because I think this the more that we're approaching Christmas, the more and more releases that that are being put out and it, it, it's a bit overwhelming. Last week we kind of talked about how Morphe gave us this sneak peek of the outside of their packaging. <sighs> and they've shown us now what it actually looks like on the inside of their eyeshadow palette. And um, well it's available just in case you want this riveting piece of makeup. It is a warm neutral palette with like one pop of green and you know how I feel about green even the green can't bring it back for me so <laughs> yeah I mean that's not for me it's the 3503 fierce by nature artistry palette and along with that they also have their natural born stunner set which are some new glosses and they come in five different shades so sass act vibes wild streak oh yeah and Foxy. So the palette, um, I don't know how much that is retailing for. I think they said the palette is bringing a surge of sultry sass to the 35O family with wild reds and flaming oranges, $25. So the palette is $25. Now I don't know how much the glosses are, but I think you know that's not for me. These are already available, just FYI. Uh, Ruby May Cosmetics has come out with three eyeshadow palettes all in one go. Uh, the first one that they have is their Pop Zombie 9 colour eyeshadow palette. And actually when you see the colours of this you can actually see how somebody would, would come up with that Pop Zombie look. That's become like a big thing on YouTube over the last couple of years. People doing like these Pop Zombie tutorials and that's quite cool and I can see how these colours would um, kind of tie in with that. And that is... Um, available for $23.14. It's not for me but I think it's really it really makes sense given the theme. The next thing that they released was the Neon Lights 24 color glitter and eyeshadow palette and they are glow in the dark um because <laughs> you really need your eyeshadows to be glow in the dark like that's that's crucial uh, but that's available for $39.99. I'm it's not that I'm interested in that, but I'm I'm kind of intrigued. I'm like, what? How? What's going on? Um, so that that's quite cool. The final one they have is the Street Art Palette, which just reminds me so much of the Blush Tribe Neon Dreams Palette, just a slightly bigger version. So I think I'll be passing on that. But let me know what you guys think. Kaleidos Makeup have launched a Futurism eye brush set and it includes five different brushes. So they have the large blending brush, the precision pencil brush, the shader brush, the large tapered blending brush and the tapered blending brush. And the set is already available for $19. Now I don't know what the brushes are like. This is their first set. I suppose for $19 it isn't bad and if you're already picking up some of their eyeshadow palettes it might make sense to pop them in. Uh, Double Down Cosmetics have basically said they're coming out with a Phoenix collection. So they look they look like they could be either eyeshadows or a blush and a highlight. I don't 100% know. It's, it's a little bit uncertain. So it comes in the shade The Phoenix and The Fire. I think they look really quite cute. Uh, we talked about King Cosmetics, Q-I-N-G, or King Beauty, whatever it is that they're called, um, and their ridiculously large palette in, I think, I think it might have been like three weeks ago, they kind of went, hey, that seems to be what everyone wants, a massive palette that can double up as a coffee table. So they have kind of given a look at this monstrosity. <laughs> it is huge and not very well edited. There are several colours that are kind of repeats of one another, you know. Um, it kind of feels like, do you remember the Microsoft Paint app that, you, I don't know if you could even call it that, back in like Windows 98? Yes, I'm showing my age. And, and there was like a little clicker that you could 
get onto the color wheel to show you all the different things. It feels like that's what they did. They just went like one step over for each one. And it just seems a bit like you could have gotten rid of whole chunks of this to make it more cohesive. But it's their attempt at like a um, semi-rainbow neutral palette, which is strange. And speaking of a semi-rainbow neutral palette, Viseart have released their Grande Pro Volume 3 palette, which, not gonna lie, I think it looks nice. But I wasn't very happy with the Viseart formula the time I did try it. It was very like, I want to say scratchy, which sounds really strange, but the formula was really odd. So it's $175. Just, just let that sink in. So you get three, six, six by five, 30 shades for $175. Just going to put that there. And I think we should think about that for a moment. It seems like a lot, and, and I know that people were kind of saying, oh, there's pinks and purples missing, and, you know, it probably isn't as, you know, comprehensive as it could be. But at the same time, I'm like, well, we could have a comprehensive palette where we have, like, King Beauty and have, like, five million different things. But it's just, it's so expensive. I, I, mm, yeah, I'd have to be certain that I would love it. And there's nowhere I know that I could go in and swatch that and, see if I would like it so it would be a big risk essentially to take um lily lashes so they've been known for a long time for their false lashes and this next release makes an awful lot of sense they have come out with their first ever mascara and they called it the triple x mascara they say that it's innovative buildable ultra black formula delivers triple effects so they claim it's going to give you ultra lengthening uh, or rather extra lengthening, extra volumizing and extra bold lashes they say. It's light, flake resistant, smudge resistant formula, delivers drama without weighing down or clumping your lashes and it's available now for $24. I'm, I wear mascara but it's mostly just to, I don't want to say chunk in, but kind of mix my natural lashes with my falsies and do the lower lash line so I don't need anything major for that so I, I don't think I could justify spending $24 on something like that. Sugar Rush which I believe is like um like a sister company of Tarte Cosmetics have come out with their Cake Butter Whipped Body, body, body Butter Trio. So they're three limited edition scents and they apparently look and feel like frosting which I'm like don't know if I want to put something that feels like frosting on my skin. Oh, I, like, is that not like kind of grainy or something? I don't know. Anyways, it comes in three different scents. Sugar cookie, apple pie and peppermint. They say it makes skin feel its softest with vitamin E, shea butter and sweet almond oil. They say it absorbs quickly with no sticky or greasy residue and you can get it for $18.00 which gives you a $42 value. I I don't really tend to use body butters, so I probably should, but I I don't. So, yeah. So, I Heart Revolution have come out with what they say is their new chocolate minis and tasty round 2. And they say they're 10 pounds each and that they have new additions to the chocolate palette lines with two new minis for 6 pounds each. But when I was looking at these so the the three tasty palettes there's the tasty palette hot dog tasty palette coffee and the tasty palette popcorn the colors that you see in that uh, they don't remind me particularly the popcorn one they don't make me think of those food items to which I'm kind of like what you know, if you have this colour story, fine, but why did you theme it with that? It just doesn't seem very well thought out, in my opinion. Um, the, like, little mini palettes, I mean, they look fine. There's nothing, like, that new or innovative about them. Which, I know sounds a bit mean, but, like, it is what it is. Too Faced have come out with a new liquid lipstick shade. It is their Melted Matte Clover 3 lipstick. It is a soft pink mocha, which is on sale for $21. 
And they say that to celebrate the launch, they are donating $25,000 to Best Friends Animal Society, which helps animals in need, which I'm like, that's really nice. I, I can get behind that. The shade looks really, really pretty. Now, I've never tried any of Too Faced Melted Matte's lipsticks, so I'm intrigued. Like, I think that's a really, really cute colour, but I don't know if it's one of those things that is just exclusive to Too Faced, because I wanted to get the Clover eyeshadow palette, but you can only get that on their website, and then I'd have to pay a ton of duty, and I was like, kind of don't want it that much. If you sold it in Debenhams, I would have gotten it, but you didn't, so I haven't. And if this is the same thing, I don't know if I would necessarily go to those lengths, because uh, I have a lot of makeup. I don't need more. M Cosmetics, so EM Cosmetics, ha are launching a Morning Dew Crystal Lip Gloss, which they have described as a crystal clear gloss that gives you high shine without the sticky texture. No information on, on when it's coming, but I think that's quite a big, a big claim to give you the high shine without the sticky texture, so we'll see how that goes. Makeup Revolution have extended their CBD range with four new products because apparently that's that's just how skincare is going now. They have their CBD Nourish Boost Cream for £10 um, or for €11.99 or $14. They say that it's created with those seeking hydration in mind. This rich nourishing cream also contains cocoa seed butter and shea butter, making this rich formulation perfect to nourish and soothe skin prone to dryness. They also have their CBD Super Serum, which is for £12. Uh, pounds, 12 euro 99 or 17 US dollars. They say this extra strength serum will help to moisturize, smooth, uh, or rather soothe, and calm dry skin. And we're, we've even boosted the formula with hyaluronic acid to encourage improved skin hydration. And they've also said that, well, those two items are available now, but they will be coming soon with two additional items. There's the CBD serum and the CBD tonic. I, 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 I'm not really into that general, uh, what is it, Gim gimmick, is that the correct word? It, uh, yeah, I just, I, it's not my thing. I'm not into the whole CBD hemp inspired Thing. It's not. It's not for me. Although I did get the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Cup Sessions palette, but that was because I liked the color story. I would have actually liked it much more if there wasn't like those cannabis leaves, like just printed on things. That kind of. I think I don't use it as much as a result, which was stupid of me to get it in the first place. But that's just me being an idiot. Ciate London have launched the Microblade brow pen. And basically what it is, is it's this brow pen, but it has three different prongs. So it kind of helps you fill in your lashes a little bit quicker. And it comes apparently in three different shades in soft brown, deep brown and charcoal. Now they did say on their Instagram that you're best to apply to clean brows that are free of product and moisturizers. And it means that the product will work better for longer. But most people don't do their brows that way, so it's a bit a bit unusual. I do find it interesting. Oh sorry, it's not three prongs, it's four prongs. I tell a lie. And it's available now for £14. I'm kind of intrigued because I'm lazy with my eyebrows. Although now that I have the fringe, I don't really have to do much with it because they're hidden. They are beneath the surface. So yeah, if you're into like brows, that might be something to do relatively inexpensive. Juno Co, who we know for doing sponges, like, you know, makeup sponges, they have uh, given a um, sneak peek of this Moonshine Miracle Cream, which they say is going to be a game changer. So I'm assuming it's probably like a night cream or an eye cream or something like that, but there's no concrete information on that yet. Uh, Too Cool for School have released a new Glam Rock Luster Sunset collection. The Autumn collection includes an eyeshadow palette, a blush and five lipsticks. So the eyeshadow palette has three mattes and three shimmers in autumn orange shades. It's super neutral. Like I can't, there's nothing interesting to me there. They have their Glam Rock Luster Sunset Cheek 
which is blush with subdued brilliance and vitality in orange with gold pearl. That's quite cute. Like I, I think an orange blush is quite interesting, like a peachy. I like those sort of things. And Glam Lock Luster Sunset Lip Satin Lipstick in five red nude shades. How can it be red nude? Am I really stupid? <laughs> it just seems like an oxymoron. I don't know. Uh, Alien Cosmetics have given us a look at their new Spellcaster palette and the pre-order is available now for $40. It's quite a neutral palette with like some little pops of greens and like a berry tone and a lavender. I think it looks really nice, you know, if it, it's it's something you could definitely use on a fairly regular basis to make some some nice kind of casual looks. Um, not for me, but I, you know, it's fine. Sparrow Cosmetics have come out with some um, new inspired lipsticks. So they're in the shades Eva and Lupita. I, I mean, they look really pretty. They're both quite red. I think Eva seems to be more of a, like a dark, dark red. And Lupita seems to be more of like an orange based red. They look really pretty. This next one, I loved Beetlejuice, the film. Um, if, you know, click like if you did too. And Shop Peachy Queen has released a palette, which I'm assuming is inspired by that. It's called the Never, Never Trust the Living Palette. And it is available now for $31.99. I actually think that's quite cool. I mean, there's two yellows in there, which I think one is a matte and one is a shimmer or a metallic. And they look quite similar, but I'm like, I will let you, I will let this slide. I will let this slide because I like the theme of this palette. I think it's quite cool. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, this is the next thing that we're talking about. Where do I start? I, oh God. I had such high hopes for when Lady Gaga was doing her own beauty line because she was very much kind of saying, you know, we're not, we're not photoshopping our things. It's all about, you know, just embracing cosmetics and, you know, we're not striving for perfection. We're just striving for creativity and expression and etc. To which I was like, yes, I can get behind that because that's what I like. You know, I want something a little bit different, a little bit innovative. And her first launch was fairly underwhelming. Uh, and now the new, new launch is more underwhelming. So she has come out with her liquid eyeliner. And yeah, I'm saying it because she thinks it's so cool to put it as I, as in I, and then lie, as in I am telling a lie, and then ner. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, it makes sense to put an eyeliner as part of your thing, but it, let, let's be real, it's nothing um, it's nothing new or that different. The next thing beyond confuses me. So she has this armor mask number one stickers is apparently what she's calling it. Apparently it's a favorite of her makeup artist, Sarah Tano. They use reusable stickers in a black shimmer finish to transform any look to expert level in seconds. But it's like $40. And it's just this big... <laughs> they say it was made in collaboration with Face Lace by Phyllis Cohen. You would want to be able to reuse that for the rest of your life for $40. I mean... It's not... I, I don't know. Uh, but the next thing I think possibly got me the most was their eye armor kit and it is basically now don't get me wrong I'm rubbish at doing like wings like I tried to do one today I'm not very good I'll give it a go my excuse is I can't see what I'm doing so whatever it doesn't have to be perfect just give it a go but oh god stickers yeah stickers for the wing and it's so bad because in the pictures it's so obvious that that's what it is. Like it's not even subtle. Um, 
I, yeah, you get a pack of ten in two different styles or five different styles. Yeah, five different styles. Of oh, five pairs per style. That's what it is. Sorry. I, I think I'm just like so sad. <laughs> like what is going on? So yeah, I'm clearly I'm clearly not getting that. Let's move on to other things. Hellbites Beauty have revealed their Holy Trinity eyeshadow palette. It's a very, very warm berry tone palette with a little bit of grey and some like corally colours in there. It's retailing for $32.99. Um, I, like it's not for me because I already have a lot of these colours anyway so I couldn't justify buying it. But I think it's a very, very wearable palette. It, it is quite cute. Betty Boop and Ipsy have collaborated. So they have a collection that includes an eyeshadow palette, which seems to be pretty neutral with like a little pop of purple, a blush palette and two lipsticks. The lipsticks come in Boop Oop A Doop, which is a matte red, which makes so much sense and mauve it baby which is a pinky mauve and it also comes with two lip glosses but they say that there will be more nothing hugely interesting to me there but that is launching in uh in the october ipsy glam bags apparently dose of color we know was it two months ago or so they came out with their foundations and it makes sense now that they are launching their Meet Your Hue concealers. So it's a lightweight, multitasking, full coverage concealer which is available in 30 shades. They say it conceals under eyes, blemishes and other skin perfections. It's $24 and it's vegan and cruelty free and will be available September 19th. So it's already available as I'm filming this. I'm okay for the moment. I'm, I'm trying to get through concealers. So, but I am intrigued. I'd love to try it at some point. BH Cosmetics have come out with brow duos. So they're brow powders that come with a compact like mirror and, and two shades. So one is the lighter and one is a dark. So they come in um, nine different compacts for $9. I, I don't really tend to use that. I'm pretty minimal with my brows as we've already discussed. But $9, that's pretty, pretty darn good. Uh, Huda Beauty, I did get a little bit excited about this, <laughs> um, are bringing a new Power Bullet throwback collection and it is retro shades to give you a 90s vibe and they look really pretty and when I was looking at the swatches, the one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth one going from left to right, uh, it's called Dirty 30, really want that one. I think that is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I really, really want it. Uh, but they will be available September 25th online. So I think that's really nice. And I do like the Huda lipstick formula. I only have one of their bullets, but I do like it an awful lot. It's in the shade Graduation Day. Beauty Bay are releasing the second round of their collaboration with Mitchell. Um, and it is... Uh, me, myself and mm, Mitchell eyeliner topper for £8. So it comes in three different styles, colours, shades. Um, Mirror, which is an iridescent with blue flecks. Mama, which is iridescent with pink flecks. And Metal, which is gold flecks. Um, and you can get the whole set together for £20 or you can buy them individually for £8 each. And those are launching on the 24th of September. Colourpop have come out with a few different things. Now, I want to, before I get into that, there was a, a leak from Trend Mood's page. Trend Mood did leak something that they shouldn't have leaked. So, I just want to say that I, I saw that it was there, but because, because she wasn't meant to have released that picture, I'm not going to talk about it until Colourpop are like, no, it's, we're okay with you guys knowing. So I know it's there, I'm just not going to talk about it. So just, just FYI. Anyways, Colourpop Cosmetics are launching a lilac collection, to which I'm a little bit confused because they did their purple collection less than a year ago. And this just looks exactly like it. Like, 
I don't have my It's My Pleasure palette with me at the moment. It's in Ireland. I'm in England. It's a whole thing. But, uh, I don't know. It feels a little bit like a cash grab. I don't know. But they have their Lilac You A Lot palette for $12. They have their 4th Ray Beauty Acai Face Milk for $14. They have the Sol Body Mini Lilac Glow Oil for $10. So I guess that's kind of new if you're into the whole body oil thing. Budding Romance Just a Tint Lip Duo for $12. And those look kind of cute. I'm, I'm getting more and more into lip colour these days. Take Me As I Amethyst Blush Sticks Duo for $14. Those are kind of interesting because they are a little bit more kind of... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that they're really amethyst or purple inspired because one is more a pink and one is more like a pale I, I don't know I'd like it's it doesn't really make sense with that set in my opinion they have their do in time uh glitterly obsessed trio for $12 and their violet crush bff bundle for $18 it just feels like they've kind of taken some things they already had and kind of just chunked them back in together so it's it's not for me uh there's been a collaboration between mally beauty and rupaul official so i'm assuming that's like rupaul's drag race so they've come out with quite a few things they have their rupaul eyeshadow palette for 40 dollars a limited edition face defender for 37 dollars realness eyeliner trio which comes in sequence which is a matte black hey sis a black burgundy and mighty love which is a deep red Ooh. I'm interested in the deep red. That sounds really interesting. And they're available together for $29. They have their Drag Lash Mascara for $29. Highlighter and Rouge Duo for $33. That sounds quite cute. Lipstick for Your Life Trio for $33. And they come in three different shades. Teehee, which is a soft pink nude. Mama Roo, which is a true bright red. And Workroom, spelled W-E-R-K which is a vibrant mauve. They have their polished liquid lipstick and discotheque lip topper three piece kit for $32. So they have two different sets. So the first set has drag mother liquid lipstick, which is a deep blue toned red, which is quite unusual. Showgirl liquid lipstick, which is a caramel nude and condragulations. I enjoy that. Glossy lip topper in a coral pigment and the second set has a now prance liquid lipstick which is a peony colored red orange and they have a shade shady liquid lipstick in purple leaning mauve which i'm like i do like purples as lipsticks at the moment and a lippy glossy lip sheer pink iridescent shimmer and they launched on the 20th of september via qvc jeffrey star cosmetics have Let's start again. Jeffree Star Cosmetics have basically just launched some new star mirrors. So they come in some different colours. Peach, silver, gold, orange and purple. And they're available for $20. And they're all chrome. So they're available from September 21st. Uh, it's quite funny that I'm talking about Jeffree Star and that I talk about Kat Fonte. Because they used to be friends and now they hate each other. And it's a whole thing. Um, and it's annoyingly dramatic. But it is what it is. Um, if you know me, you know I'm not buying any Kat Von D at the moment. But I'm still going to talk about it just so you guys know. I'm not going to tell you what to buy or what not to buy. That's not my, that's none of my business. But I'm going to say that Kat Von D's newest uh, release, uh, which is an eyeshadow palette. It's the Lolita Por Vida, which has 18 shades with matte shimmers and metallics. It makes it very easy for me to not buy because that is boring as hell. There's a couple of colours in there that are just dupes of themselves. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not getting that. Terra Moon Cosmetics is releasing some um, beautiful multi-chromes. So we've kind of seen some sneak peeks of that going a long way. So these are what is available now. So that looks really cute. Baby Bat Beauty have released quite a few things. They One of the first things they have is their Halloween collection has this, um, what they call Repent Chunky Glitter Mix. I, I don't, uh, like I'm assuming that couldn't possibly be eye safe. 
Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not saying it is or isn't, but yeah, I mean, I, that's that's not for me. They also have, and these are the things I think I'm a little bit more interested in. They have these lipsticks because the formula looks really interesting from like just the lip swatches. Um, they have their liquid lipsticks and they have their multi-chrome pressed eyeshadows. I'm kind of getting a bit a bit bored of multi-chrome eyeshadows because they're just they're everywhere. So, but I'm kind of semi-interested in the lipsticks. I kind of like the the grayish shade called Possessed. That looks interesting to me. Give Me Glow Cosmetics um, have been working on some liquid liners, so they've given us a kind of a sneak peek at that. So there is a gold and a sort of a khaki brown green liner, and they look really, really cool. Anastasia Beverly Hills are killing me <laughs> because they, they're just, just they're starting to become the new colour pop. They've just been releasing, 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 and I'm like, I literally just got my hands on the Norvina like what, three, three, four weeks ago, something like that. Now they have the Norvina Volume 2 palette and it has greens. It has greens. So I kind of don't know how to cope and I was super impressed with the, with the Volume 1. So I think, yeah, I might end up getting this. I might, yeah. It's available 26th of September. And along with that, they also have their um, glitter pigments. And they look really, really cute. Like the swatches of those, they're $15 each for 5.4 grams. And they look really, really, really pretty. Apparently you can get all of them on the ABH website and Sephora are stocking nine out of the ten shades and they do look really really pretty. So I'm kind of like kind of want to get those but then you see if they're I don't know if they'd be on Cult Beauty or anything like that because I probably would, would get it via Cult Beauty. Circadia Cosmetics have uh, some new autumn liquid lipsticks coming soon. The one that they've shown us is a sort of um like a really nice orangey red colour. I don't know what it's called. There's no information on that, but that looked quite cute. Uh, Shop Alter Ego, which they used to have a different name or maybe they got rebranded. Anyways, they have a new palette. It's called the Sahara Palette and it's, it's a pretty clear dupe for the Natasha Denona Biba Palette. So if you like the general tones of the Biba Palette, but we're like, I'm not paying $129 which nobody blames you, that is an extortionate amount of money for eyeshadow. This might be um, an alternative because they are generally miles cheaper and that is available now online via Shop Alter Ego. Classy Kit Cosmetics have also come out with some Halloween cosmetics and I love the way that they've pressed the pans with like little skulls and stuff, that looks really, really cute. It's an all shimmer palette, so you know, if you if you don't like that, that probably isn't for you. Uh, I, it's not for me. The colours aren't really for me, but I, I like seeing that they're doing something new and interesting. Um, so Strobe Cosmetics are rebranding as Shroud Cosmetics. And as part of that, they're also coming out with a new Arcana palette, so a new eyeshadow palette. And they kind of had been dripping the releases of that but now they've kind of shown exactly what it looks like and it's available for pre-order on September 23rd. It's quite a neutral-ish palette which has some pops of blue and a green. I think it's nice. It's not for me but I think it looks really quite nice. Hank and Henry Beauty have come out with a new makeup sponge and it looks quite cute. It looks like there's a little owl on it which I'm like Oh, that's sweet. Um, they're 100% vegan and cruelty free. There's no date as to when the sponge is coming, but it will happen. Eclectic Beauty Cosmetics announced last week that they were doing a blood vial collection, but I didn't talk about it on this channel because I had no information on it, but now they've given us this sneak peek. Uh, so they have lots of different like liquid lipsticks and then some like glosses. The gloss looks really like what is that? Like, it's really unusual. I think it's quite cool. 
Um, the liquid lipsticks, I'm, I'm, well, I really like the, oh God, how am I going to pronounce this? Because the, they're, they're all, you know, blood vial related. Oh, deoxyhemoglobin. Deoxyhemoglobin. There we go. I did it. Um, I, I have done well. <laughs> I did better than I thought. I, I really like that shade. That looks really nice. And along with that, they've also come out with three new shades of their Fairy Dust. Um, so that released along with their Blood Files. And they come in three different shades, Sealy, Spriggan and Unsealy. And that looks really pretty. They look really, really, really nice. Uh, pretty is for your face, which I'd never heard of before. There, I mean, there's just so many beauty brands. How can how can I keep up with them? They've released a candy apple highlighter and blush duo, and that looks super cute, like really really cute. And I love it how it has that little little indentation of an apple, and apparently it's scented like candy apple. To which I'm like, oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good for me because I'll just get hungry all the time. Um, Milani Cosmetics have also given a little bit of a sneak peek of some new glosses. So it seems to be a very, very pink lip gloss. That's all I know. But they're going to come out with 12 shades for $8.99 and they're going to be available from November. Luxy Beauty are coming out with some more shifting shadows. They're going to be $10 each um, or you can get a bundle of five for $40. I'm kind of over the duochrome, multi-chrome thing. Not really for me. Um, and then Love Lux Beauty have come out with some new iridescent sparkle trichromes. Again, not not for me at the moment. I'm I'm kind of on a multi-chrome fatigue thing. <laughs> I'm like I'm kind of done with this now. I'm I don't want them anymore. Um, Coloured Rain have come out with a new Lemon Rain beauty sponge. They came out with a beauty sponge. I want to say two or three months ago. So I think all that's different now is that this is yellow. Um, also have to point out it's latex free, cruelty free and vegan and they're going to be available from September 25th from $6. So that's pretty darn good. You know, $6 for a beauty sponge. I mean, you can't really complain too much about that. And if you're picking up any of their bomb eyeshadow palettes or whatever, that, that would be one to check out. Clarity Cosmetics have come out with two things. The first thing they came out with was their Talk Back Mini Palette, which is a very... Very, very, very autumn inspired palette. I quite like that. It makes a lot of sense considering the time of year. And there's just this really deep, like, wine red colour in there. It's like a Merlot and just this khaki green. I really like that. I, I think that's really, really cute. And they also came out with their Python palette, which has 12 shades. The Python palette to me is boring, uh, but that is my opinion you know, and it is uh, retailing for $54. If you ask me to choose between the two of them, I would go for the little mini palette. That's way more interesting to me. Uh, LA Girl Cosmetics, there's just a lot of brow products right now, it's strange. They've come out with a Brow Bestie Triangular Auto Pencil. They say it's a twistable triangle tip and convenient built-in spoolie available in eight shades and they have their Brow Bestie Longwear Gel Kit. A smudge proof long wearing gel with a small spoolie wand uh, which includes a separate dual ended brush or, uh, and spoolie which is available in five shades and you can get them on LA Girls website for six dollars each so that's pretty darn good like very very affordable. Fabled Fragrances um, are launching three new liquid lipsticks on the 1st of October. They're definitely very unusual. I am not cool enough to pull those off but it's nice to see something a bit different. MAC Cosmetics have come out with a new advent calendar. So I guess if you're a fan of MAC Cosmetics and you don't really mind what you're getting this would make a lot of sense. There's no information on how much it will be but they have a whole list of what is actually in it. 
So let's run through that ASAP. They have their Cleanse Off Oil, which is a sample size in 6ml, Prep and Prime Lip, Prep and Prime Fix Plus, which is a sample size, Prep and Prime Natural Radiance in Radiant Yellow, for uh, which has 6ml in it, Prep and Prime Skin Base, which is a sample size for 6ml, Brow Set in Clear, Multi Formula Sponge, so they give you two of those, Fast Response Eye Cream, 50ml, uh, rose mini mac pigment rose with copper sparkle so if you want to try any of the pigments that might be a way to do it they are also giving a chunk of eyeshadows so they have havana which is a dirty copper brown uh, which is an extra dimensional eyeshadow they have mulch which is a red brown with bronze pearl with a velvet finish tempting which is sinfully rich cocoa which is a luster finish strobe cream in pink light pink pearls at uh, six milliliters so that's a sample size pro long wear fluid black track extended play giga black lash mascara lipsticks it's a little mini lipsticks they have twig which is a soft muted brownish pink in a satin finish and lady danger which is a vivid bright coral red matte they also have their lip glass mini max in a candy box uh, they have clear lip glass velvet teddy lipstick which i know seems to be like a cult favorite of theirs it's a deep tone beige matte so i'm like hmm that's interesting Boldly Bare Lip Pencil in Dirty Red Brown, uh, In Extreme Dimension Mascara, which comes in a sample size, and False Lashes in the style 36. And these are going to be available in October. That sounds really good. If you are a big MAC fan and you're just like, I just want MAC, I just want lots of things from them, it does sound like it's a nice little thing. And I, I mean, you know, if there's someone in your life that loves MAC, that would be a super herb present for them they would love that and I know some people who are like really into Christmas they're already talking about it and they're I don't want to say they're wrecking my head they're not but I'm just like it's September it's way too early for what's going on we have a very quick sneak peek um from Makeup Revolution so again they seem to be extending this line with um, cannabis sativa so they have a calming makeup fixing spray a purifying priming water lipstick mascara and a palette so that seems to be coming along with the serums etc that I discussed earlier now let's talk about the holiday collection because we couldn't get through it without talking about it Smashbox have just went hey here you go and uh, I have a lot of things I mean there's so much they have their photo finish star power primer set which is a set of the three best-selling travel size photo finish face primers again a brilliant present for somebody if that if you know that they love those products that makes a lot of sense they have the always on lunar liquid lipstick set five ultra comfortable matte liquid lipstick shades for 25 dollars and there seems to be like a, a nice red and then some like darker nudes in there they look quite cute uh, three palette shooting star set which includes three palettes one seems to be a face palette and the others are eye palettes they have their divine shine gloss angelis trio which includes three full moisturizing lip glosses one of them is, is quite a pale color so i don't know how that would translate they have their star power face and eyeshadow palette which is a multi-use mega palette with a range of 20 matte and shimmer eyeshadows blushes highlight and bronze for 39 dollars they have their planetary cheek palette which is a highlighter and blush palette with a unique planetary design for 29 dollars they have their lash and liner set which they say has a full-size volumizing mascara uh, a lengthening lash primer and deluxe size long wearing eyeliner for $23. They have the artist brush set which gives you a set of five high quality cruelty free vegan makeup brushes for $39. They have the photo finish primer water duo so you can get a set of two scented travel size primer waters to hydrate refresh um, for $20 but they come in two different sets so the first set is fire and air so the fire uh, photo finish primer water is black pepper and cinnamon and the air is geranium and melon and then the second set is water and earth so the water is sea salt and lemon and the earth is cedarwood and vetiver I like the water and earth sound like that sounds really 
quite into I, I want to smell all of them <laughs> I just want to go to Boots I want to smell them I want to see what the story is because that does sound quite interesting to me Stila have come out with a few things for their holiday collection as well they have hold on now if I can find it they have their the highest realm glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow set for $25 and they have new limited edition shades in that so there's three different shades they have forever which is a champagne beige gold and silver sparkle infinite which is a sugar plum multicolor sparkle and eternal which is a caramel gold sparkle they have the kiss the stars stay all day liquid lipstick set for $20 and that comes in three different shades um, Baki, which is a nude pink matte, uh, Serenata, which is a cognac rose, which is also a matte, and Perla, which is a pale dusty pink matte. Um, they have the fourth dimension liquid eyeshadow set for $49. They have the glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow in opal ice, which is an opalescent pink sparkle, glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow in lilac ice, which is a silvery lilac multicolor sparkle, shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow in vivid smoky quartz, which is an espresso shimmer, shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow in vivid uh, labradorite, don't know what that is, uh, which gives you a charcoal shimmer. And then they have the Blue Realm Velvet Eyeshadow Palette for $30, which comes in six shades in dazzling duochrome metallic foil and dimensional matte finishes. There's nothing really there that's that interesting to me. I haven't really tried any of the liquid eyeshadows from Stila, even though I know they're like a cult thing, but they're quite expensive and I couldn't really justify them. So that's where I've been. So basically, you know, we've hardly heard anything from Too Faced for their Christmas collections, have we? Basically, they went, hey, I think maybe we should have like a release like every week of something that we're doing for Christmas. And <laughs> it's like, who approved this? Why is there so much? But there is, there's so much. So they have their Better Not Pout, but if you do keep a glossy $25 set. So there are four different glosses um, in the shades, Eggnog, Spice Cake, Peppermint Bark, and Sugar Plum. Yeah, I mean, not, not for me, but they've also said, hey, you know, I, I, we realize that's not enough. <laughs> so we also have more and it's coming soon, we promise. They have their Berry Christmas to You set for $32 and that includes the full size Juicy Fruits Comfort Lip Glaze in Yummy Rummy. The full size Better Than Sex Mascara because can you really have a Too Faced Christmas collection unless there's a Better Than Sex Mascara put in there? No. Travel size Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo in Strobe Berry. Uh, limited edition Strawberries and Champagne Makeup Bag. So that that's quite cute, you know. Gingerbread Lane, $35. It, for this one, they have three separate palettes in one. Each uh, palette contains four eyeshadows and one ombre bl blush, and each palette smells like a different delicious Christmas treat. And even though the colours in that don't get me, I'm like, I kind of semi want that, but I don't. I don't know. I need to be strong. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to use it. Like that's insane. It Cosmetics um, have come out with their Your Starry Eyed Brush Trio for $25 and a Your Cosmic Connection set for $58. They also have a Your A Star Multi Masking Foundation Brush for $30, Your Celestial Wonders Duo for $48 and Love Is The Foundation Brush for $30. I've heard good things about their brush set but I'm not sure about like the fact that they're all in strange shapes. Like, could that compromise how good it? I don't know. I don't know. Becca Cosmetics have also come out with a Party Popper Ultimate Lipstick Love Mini Kit for $25. And they have Sugar Orchid Rosewood Your Glow to Grow Glow to Glow Primer rather Highlighter and Lip Kit for $30. So yeah, I mean. I um mm, I don't think I want anything there. I do want to at some point try the It Cosmetics um brushes and I did recently buy a Becca lipstick but I've yet to try it. So there is that. And Tart Cosmetics went, "Hey Too Faced, hold my beer. I also have things that I want to show." <laughs> and it's like, "Oh my god, what's happening? Where are we going?" Ah. They have just a whole 
chunk of things. They have their Winter Wonder Glam Luxe Eye Palette for $54, their Gift and Glam Collector Set for $49, their Winter Wish List Color Collections $30, Gilded Gifts Collector Set $45, Nine Ways to Shine Cheek Wardrobe uh, $35, Finger Foil Face Quad $22, Chrome for the Holiday Set $24, Slay then Froze Colour Collection $25. I don't know if they spelt that correctly. Uh, Cozy Kitten Colour Collection $29. Lip Ornaments Lip Gloss Set for $28. Mistletoe Magic H2O Gloss Set for $20. Elfing and Selfing Quench Lip Rescue Duo for $19. There's more. The Lip Glossary Lip Gloss Set for $29. Confidence Boosters Lip and Lash Duo for $15. Holiday Honeys Lip and Eye Trio $20. Party of Three Eyeliner Trio $20. Gift of Good Lashes Eye Set $20. Limited Edition Big Ego Mascara for $23. Hey Curl Hey Lash Curler $20. Mascara Wish List $24. Gold Dusters Brush Set $39. Merry Metals Brush Set $35. The Buffer Air Brush Finish Foundation Brush for $34. Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost for $39. And Sea Glass Shimmer Body Gel $29. Sweet Merciful Zeus, that is so much stuff. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Fenty Beauty also went, hey, we're, we're doing a holiday thing too, but at least theirs is a little bit more like calm. They have this like liquid diamond balm which is a roll on liquid 3D glitter for your face and body which just makes me think of the 90s. You know when you were in the 90s and you got that glitter roll on thing and it was like does it really count unless it's sticking all of your arm hairs together? Not for me. I still haven't recovered for that. Uh, I, I think it might come with a kabuki brush. I'm not 100% certain. And they also have um uh, a, f a highlighter as well that's in an actual like pressed palette so that's available now I'm kind of semi-interested in the in the pressed highlighter because I love highlighters so we'll, we'll see we'll see we talked a little bit about Hourglass's holiday collection last week and they showed us their ambient lighting edit uh, which is for $80 but they also went well, in addition to that, we have our blush quad, and that's available for $58, and that comes in the shades Surreal Effect, Brilliant Nude, Lucid Glow, and Infinite Flush. They have their Confession Refillable Lipstick Duo in two sets for $36. So set one has I Cherish, which is a cool pink nude, and You Inspire, which is a deep mulberry, and the second set is I Wonder, which is a bright rose, and I'll Forever, which is an orange rose. And the last thing they have is a Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow Collection for $46 in the shades Foil, Ray and Molten. I'm kind of interested in the lipstick duo and I kind of want the blush quite. I kind of want a whole chunk of the hourglass stuff if I'm completely honest. It's a tough time. Ula Henriksen also has quite a chunk of things for the... Christmas. They have the OMG which is the Oh My Glow Brightening Set for $50 which has a Banana Bright Face Primer, Banana Bright Eye Cream and Sea Rush Vitamin C Gel Moisturiser Truth Serum. They have the TBT which is Truth Be Toned uh, Skin Care Set for $15 which has a Balancing Force Oil Control Toner and Truth Serum. The ASAP which is the As Smooth As Possible Age Fighting Set for $56. Good Night Glow Retin Alt Sleeping Cream. Uh, Glow to O Dark Spot Toner Glow Cycle Retin Alt Power Serum. They have the Balance Babies Mattifying Oil Control Set for $42 which has the Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub Cold Plunge Pore Mask, Balancing Force Oil Control Toner, Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. They have the Hats Off to Bananas Pre Makeup Skincare Set, which ha uh, which is retailing for seventy two dollars, and that has the Banana Bright Eye Cream and the Banana Bright Face Primer and a baseball cap, and the LOL. So lots of luminosity. Um, brightening set which is available on their website apparently which has the truth on the glow cleansing cloths and sea rush brightening brightening gel cream so here's the thing i kind of want the hats off to bananas pre-makeup skincare set but i don't want a damned baseball cap and i'm like is that what's 
putting the price up because I want to try some of their eye creams and stuff. To which I'm like, well, then maybe I should just go with the OMG brightening set. Well, that's obviously it, yeah. If one is $22 more expensive, unless they're different sizes, it's not 100% clear. If I was to get any of them, I would probably go with the Oh My Glow brightening set for $50, which has the Banana Bright Face Primer, the Banana Bright Eye Cream, the Sea Rush Vitamin C Gel Moisturizer, and Truth Serum. That's probably what I would go for. And we're on to our last thing. NARS have also come out with a whole chunk of things. So they have, I think it's a two eyeshadow palettes. They have some face palettes, so like highlighter palettes, blush palettes, some like, I don't know, like, like little bronzers, blushes. They have some lipsticks and lots of different finishes. So they've like more of like a lip pencil. They have like um like a bullet lipstick and then they have more like of a, um, like a lip gloss type thing. Uh, so they have a few different sets. There's no real clear information on that yet, but that is going to be available around about October, November. So that is it. That is another week's worth of makeup. It is utterly insane. Uh, I can't cope. <laughs> There's so much. What's happening? So let me know what you guys are interested in. Do you feel overwhelmed? Are you like, what is happening? Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. It's always great when I see that people like leave me a comment underneath. It makes me super happy. So feel free to engage. I'm, I always... Uh, respond because it's just nice to meet other people who are interested in the same thing as I am. So have a fabulous rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!